Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I want to show you how we can handle one to n relationships with room. So if you remember our ER model, now we want to model the relationship between our school and our students. So we have many students who go into a single school, but for each single student, there is only a single school that student goes into. And in the last video, we talked about one to one relationships. So we had our school and director table here. And in that case, it really didn't matter into which table we put the primary key of the other table. So it didn't matter if we took the school name, which is the primary key of the school table and put it into the director table, or if we take the director name and put it into the school table. This time with a, with a one to n relationship, this matters because of course, there is one student in many schools, then it makes sense to save the school name for each student, but it doesn't make sense to save the student name for each school because there are multiple students that belong to a school. So this is essentially very similar to what we did last time, just that we have to take more care which primary key we actually put into which table. Let's first create our student table here in our entities package. student, select class, and yes, I want to add that to git, and we want to make that a data class here. Well, each student, of course, has a val student name, which is its primary key. So we annotate that with add primary key, and we don't want to auto generate that. Then we have a val for the semester which is just a normal integer property. And we also want to include the school name that student actually belongs to. So here we actually need to take care that we put the school name into the student table and not the other way around. Like this. And now the next step is to define this kind of relation class that we also did for school and director here. So we need to define the same for school with students. That That's how we call it for one to n relationships. So instead of and, we call it with and then plural. So in our relations package, we create a new Kotlin class, school with students, make that a data class. And here we again have an embedded variable here for the first or for the major table here of this of this class. So in this case, the major table must be the table that actually contains multiple instances of other tables. So our school contains multiple students. So this embedded embedded annotation must be before the val school. And then we will have this relation annotation again, just to define the, the different primary keys or basically the single primary key, we want to actually join these tables together. So the column these tables actually have in common here. On the one hand, we need to define the, the parent column, which is the school name. So that is the primary key of this table. And we have the entity column, which is also school name in this case, which refers to the column of this table that actually is the same as this one. So it will later on just compare these two tables, the school name of the students table and the school name of the school table, and then join according to that. And if you remember the last time we just had a normal director here, we don't have that with a student now because we have multiple students. So instead we have a list of students. So we could use this now to query all schools with its students. So we get an instance to the school object and many instances to the students who actually go into that school. And now the last step is to actually just define some functions in our data access object to actually query these school with students. So first we want to copy this insert director function, paste it here and call that insert student.
And then we can create a new function here to just pass a school name and get all students who actually go to that school or just be creative with these queries here. So suspend function get school with students. We pass the school name. And that returns the list of school with students. So our relation class we defined here. So this can return a list of multiple students it finds. And this relation class contains a list of students for each instance. So each entry of that list again contains a list of all students who go to that school. And we also need to annotate this with add transaction to just make that to execute that in a thread safe manner. And with query, we want to select everything from our school table where the school name is equal to the school name we passed. And that is it for one to end relationships with room. You can see that is very similar to one to one relationships. But in the next video, I'm going to talk about n to m relationships. So students and subjects. And that's going to be a little different than what we did before. So if you like this video, just put that in the comments, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for more advanced Android tutorials, then take a look at my website pl coding.com. You find the link in this video's description, where you will find premium courses that are very useful if you want to take your Android skills to the next level. I wish you an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.